Fire in the hole! Final training for the front line. One of these men was a gas worker less than three months ago. Now, he's about to fight Russia. How do I feel? How should I feel? Everything is okay. I feel like the guys need some help. That's why I'm here. As Britain's army chief says the UK public needs to be ready for any future war, Ukraine offers an idea of what that means. It's unclear who among these men chose to sign up and who were caught in a growing conscription drive. But they seem willing to go forward, though their trainer says it's not just extra manpower that's required as the war drags on. We need more weapons, ammunition, artillery, more rifles, machine guns. As he spoke, a reminder, the real front line is only a few miles away. We head towards an artillery position nearby. Troops here are tasked with trying to stop their enemy advancing from the captured city of Bakhmut. In the past hour, we've heard a number of Ukrainian positions firing towards the Russians. You can hear one rocket there. The gun that we're with is still waiting for the order to fire, but every soldier I've spoken to has given one message. They need more ammunition. Just three shells were launched overnight from this Soviet-era howitzer. It's operated by another civilian who was mobilised last year, though he does have prior military experience. And why are you fighting? If not us, who? We have to. We have to. The threat from incoming rounds is high, so troops spend a lot of time underground. They dug the shelter themselves. It almost feels homely. But this is a war zone and the fighting's about to enter its third year. Of course it's very sad. But we are trying to kick the Russians out. Another defining feature of the fight. One-way suicide drones. Now it's the most dangerous sound. They're often flown by civilians who volunteered to serve. Ruben was previously a soldier, but signed back up when Russia invaded. He shows us how the drone works and gives his reason for fighting. Because uh, uh, this, uh, this is my country and uh, uh, in this country live my parents, live my friends. It's why for Ukraine, national service matters because when war erupts, everyone's impacted. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Eastern Ukraine.